beautiful thank you so much for coming today and today i'm going to start with another little quote and this one is from mr rogers so who was an amazing teacher and is okay. human beings are not born with self-control we have to learn what to do with the mad that we feel. Learning to control ourselves is a long and hard process. It happens little by little. In fact, it is something that we work on all through our lives. And that's Fred Rogers, who I am very grateful for. And yes, that's what we're doing here is little by little, we're learning about mindfulness, and about meditation and about loving kindness and sharing it with ourselves and with the world and letting it flow through us. So let's bring our hands to heart center and we'll inhale and exhale and inhale. We are grateful. and allowing your spine to be extended and your feet to be planted on this beautiful earth allowing our hands to rest in our laps or at our sides noticing any tension in the body and bringing the breath there and allowing it to release and relax. Maybe tension in the shoulders, maybe holding in the jaw, maybe tightness in the eyebrows or in the eyes. With each breath, we release and relax a little more. And noticing the inhale. And noticing the exhale. Breathing in, I know I'm breathing in. Breathing out, I know I'm breathing out. And as we notice the breath, we Feel the body relaxing even more. We notice that the breath deepens and slows. We allow our feet to rest upon the earth. And our legs and our hips to relax right here, right now. And the whole lower part of the body is relaxed, calm, And then notice that calmness coming up through the spine, through the hips, through the torso and the belly.
up through the chest, upper back, shoulders, Inhale and exhale and with each breath find a little more relaxation. Then that relaxation travels down the arms, past the elbows to the hands. And the whole upper part of the body and lower part of the body are relaxed. Right here, right now in this breath. We notice the neck and the shoulders and the upper, upper spine, cervical spine. And right into the skull and the face, the jaws, tongue, eyes. Noticing the breath coming in at the nostrils. And filling up the lungs. And then releasing into more relaxation. Right here, right now. And bringing awareness to the sense organs. To the sense of hearing. Maybe there's sounds around us that are coming to us. Maybe the light coming in through the eyelids. Maybe a scent on the air, or a taste in the mouth, and then the feeling of warmth in the body, and coolness as we breathe in, and warmth as we breathe out. bringing awareness to any stray thoughts that are floating on by. And we can notice them and then just let them float on by like clouds passing. We don't have to keep them. And instead, come back to being aware of the thought. And at any time during the meditation when we find ourselves attached to a cloud thought, we can just let it float away and come back to noticing. And come back to the breath. And come back to this moment. What's happening right here, right now.
and then dropping from the head to the heart. See if you can be aware of your breathing from the heart space. Breathing in and breathing out. Breathing in, I know I'm breathing in. Breathing out, I know I'm breathing out. And just the way we are surrounded by air and sounds and vibrations, we are also surrounded by love. We can feel it in our hearts, we can feel it all around us. Just the way the oxygen comes in and then flows back out, that love in which we live and move and have our very being surrounds us within and without. Until there's no difference between us and that love. Allowing that love to be very present for us. It always is, but sometimes we're not aware of it. But right now we're aware of it. Feeling that love filling us up, let's remember now a being in whose presence that love just overflows, just overflows. And it fills us up. It could be a mentor. Or a benefactor could be a dear friend or a pet, a child or a tree, and find their presence here. Maybe even feeling their hands on your shoulders as if their hands were on your shoulders or their paws in your lap. Or if it's a child, maybe you're holding them. Or if it's a tree, maybe you're leaning against it and the branches are coming over you. And if it's a div the divine, maybe they are blessing your head And of course, all love is divine. So in allowing that divine love to bless our heads and bless our bodies and our minds and our spirits flow through us with this blessing, just the way the blessing of the air the blessing of the earth, blessing of the sun and the water, the sky, and food to eat. All of these blessings are here for us every day. And that love is also here. And it fills us up and overflows. 
And picture now a dear one that you would like to bless. Allowing that loving kindness flow through you to them. And we're going to use these words of compassion, but if they're not perfect, that's all right. And if you have some that you'd rather use, that's great. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be joyous. May you be free. Maybe you could even picture your hands on that loved one's shoulders. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be joyous. May you be free. Be happy. Be healthy, be joyous, be free. And that love flows right through them back to us. They put their hands on our shoulders and join us. May we be happy. May we be healthy. May we be joyous. May we be free. May we be happy, may we be healthy, may we be joyous, may we be free. And that love so overflows that we picture now someone that we don't know that well. Someone that we are only acquainted with, maybe even just seen their face once in a Zoom or in a car zooming by. Maybe a barista or a checker at the grocery store. Maybe a coworker that you don't know. Maybe a child you saw today. Let's share those words with that being. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be joyous. May you be free. Be happy. Be healthy. Be joyous. Be free. That love flows out of that one that we don't know that well. And they welcome that love. And that loving kindness flows from them. And they also flow with kindness for others. And then checking in again with our benefactor, our loving being. Noticing that love flowing from them to us. Allowing ourselves to be the conduits of that love, that loving kindness. To accept love and kindness. And then to allow it to flow through us to others. And to be that empty conduit in which it can flow through. And then picturing now someone that we've had a difficult time with. Or maybe they've had a difficult time with us. And bringing that person to mind, to heart. Allowing the love to flow through our hearts to them. Knowing that all beings everywhere desire this. And maybe they can't even desire it, but they're still, their very being desires that love. They're not different than us in that way. May you be happy. May you be healthy. 
May you be joyous. May you be free. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be joyous. May you be free. I'm picturing them now with the ability of, to accept that love, fill up with it, and flow forth the loving kindness. They too become conduits of this love, flowing, flowing, flowing. And as it flows forth, let's picture now some beings that really need a blessing this week. Maybe they've asked you to remember them. Or maybe it's some family close by that you know needs it, or an individual. And it could be a community, it could be a nation. Just some beings that need this blessing today. We can picture them opening up to loving kindness. Maybe the words aren't perfect for their situation, but allow that love to flow through you to them behind each word. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be joyous. May you be free. May you be happy, may you be healthy, may you be joyous, may you be free. That freedom to accept the love, let it flow out from them, to accept the kindness and compassion, and then to, in turn, share that love and compassion. Blessing these beings that need it. And then opening up our hands and picturing now each one of our own close ones, our dear ones. Maybe as if we're holding hands with them in a circle. Allowing that love to flow. Noticing from the heart, each one of the smiles. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be joyous. May you be free. May you be happy. May you be healthy. May you be joyous. May you be free. And that love does flow through them and then back to us and they join us. May we be happy. May we be healthy. May we be joyous. May we be free. May we be happy. May we be healthy. May we be joyous. May we be free. And these love conduits open up their palms to all of their friends and family. And those open up their palms to theirs. And that love just keeps spreading throughout the earth to each being, to each human being. And they join us. May we be happy. May we be healthy, may we be joyous, may we be free. May we be happy, may we be healthy, 
May we be joyous. May we be free. Each one of these beings reminds us about the animals, the animals all around each one of them, and the plants and the green growing things, and all the living beings of the earth. Join us. May we be happy. May we be healthy. May we be joyous. May we be free. Be happy. Be healthy. Be joyous. Be free. And we remember the earth itself and the oceans and the sky. stars. May we be happy. May we be healthy. May we be joyous. May we be free. Be happy. Be healthy. Be joyous. Be free. And each one of these overflows till that loving kindness is like a river flowing through our own hearts and through each being on the earth, through the earth itself, through the oceans and the waters, through the sky, and then right back here to this breath. given in loving kindness and then sent forth in loving kindness. And remembering that any time during the week, we can come back to this breath filled with joy and peace overflowing that brightens the face of the earth. It's always here, one breath away. This peace and joy, loving kindness, breathing it in, breathing it out. And then bringing hands to heart center, we can inhale and to exhale and to inhale. We are grateful. And I'm grateful for you. Thank you for joining, Welcome. blessing the earth. Thank you. Alrighty. Let's see. I'm going to tilt this a little bit more. Tilt, tilt. Okay. And we'll start like we normally do, knocking on the door wide. Feels so good after meditation. Good. Just swinging the arms back and forth. And let the movement speak to you. You know, the more you do these, the more that the, you'll, you'll feel what it is that they're doing, you know? And then let it tap the shoulder. Tap. Tap, you're good, good. Loving it, loving it. Great, great, great. And then as if your hands were going through the water, through the water, letting the arms relax completely. And then coming to center, we'll step our feet right over our hips and our hips are right over our shoulders. And we roll the shoulders back with the hands open to the front. And inhale and exhale. One more inhale. Then bring one hand over the lower dantian, just below the belly button and above the pubic bone. The other hand's over that. 
beginning our practice. Good, good, good. And we're going to bring the hands up, flip them at the heart, reach to the sky, and let it rain down. Scooping it up, flip at the heart, reach to the sky, and the rain down. Beautiful. Two more. Inhaling, exhaling, and one more. Beautiful. Good. And then stepping open, we'll inhale our arms wide. Exhale, hugging that chi with a slight bend in the knee. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. Two more. And one more. And then hold that chi just like you're holding a tree trunk. Let the shoulders come down, the elbows float up. Breathe. Two more breaths here. One more. Then we're going to bring those hands over to your left side with the right hand on top, left hand on the bottom. Hold your chi, flip it, and swipe past the knees and push the chi to the other side. Hold it, flip it. Swipe the knee with the left hand, the right hand pushes the chi. Good. This is cleansing the, the center meridians of our body. Anything that is just not flowing helps it to flow. And feel as if you can really let that movement flow. Just let it be almost like a dance movement. And that helps the energy to flow through. If it's Qigong, we can't do the movements wrong. We can do it more right. We can't do it wrong. <laughs> so let it flow. And flow. One more each side. Good, good, good. And then come back to center. We'll inhale and then drop the chi. Inhale, soaking up that earth energy, clip the palms, bringing down the sky energy and let it go down the central channel all the way to the earth, recycling there. Good earth energy coming back up and then washing down. We've got a beautiful shower of chi. That chi is just the energy that's all around us, the vibration that is always here, it's just surrounding us. My husband wrote, he's a composer, and he wrote a line once, love's not the most important thing in the world, it's the only thing. And I think that has something to do with chi. It's not the most important thing in the world, it's the only thing. <laughs> good, good, good. And one more, letting it come down. And then we're gonna step wide with our hands towards the earth. We're gonna gather up that earth energy. So a figure eight or an infinity sign coming in and then around, moving the torso, moving the knees, let the movement come from the knees. And maybe even the hips can make a bit of a figure eight here. Around and around. Gathering up that earth energy, but also blessing the earth and grounding us. And one more. And then back to center. Inhale and drop that chain. And it was new moon this week, so let's step a little bit wider than shoulders. Inhale. Exhale, the left hand on top, right hand on the bottom, giving the moon a hug, and then the opposite way, and embracing the moon. Exhale, embrace the moon. 
exhale, release the hand. And on the next one, we'll go into taming the ball, the horse's mane. So we embrace the moon, let the hands slide past each other. The right hand goes up, left hand goes down, taming the ball, the horse's mane. Back and taming the ball, the horse's mane. Beautiful. Bringing heaven to earth and earth together at our hearts. Good, good, good. Continuing our practice little by little, as Mr. Rogers said. Little by little. Each movement. Good, good, good. And we practice because we love it. it makes us feel good, but it also blesses the earth. And all the beings there are on. Come back to center, dropping that chi. Good, beautiful. And now we'll let the hands float up and back down, opening the door, floating them up. And back down one more. And then we'll do the left hand floating up and then the right side by side. Beautiful. And you can remain with this movement or on the next one, you can let the pinky lead and open up that shoulder all the way open. And then let both hands float up and then float back down. Right arm opening it up all the way down. Floating up. Drawing rainbows. Rainbows are such a wonder. It's made out of light and water. And then dropping the cheek and we float all the way down. Good. And then we'll step open and reach down, gathering up the earth energy and then crossing the arms and coming to heart. And then reach up to the sky, gather up that sky energy, crossing the arms, bringing it to the heart, mm -hmm. stepping together. We'll present our gift at the altar and then bring hands together to the heart, waiting at the altar. And then open up legs and our hands come forward, digging in the earth all the way down between our legs and then letting them swing back up to the sky, to a steeple, and then let it rain down. center. Good. Let's step forward with the left leg, right leg back. Exhale forward and inhale it back. Exhaling and inhaling. Exhaling and inhaling. Feeling the movement in every part of the body. Noticing the breath. Then we're allowing our intention, the spirit to flow forth, maybe for one individual for each turn of the wheel, or for one quality, or for one situation. Stepping back, switching legs, and exhaling forward in. Good. 
stacking up. Allow the chi to drop again, but stop at the heart, lift the hands, bring them back, and then go down the back of the body. And you, you don't have to bend down if, if you're having any back problems. And then bring it all the way up to the sky. And then let it rain down again on top of us. Lift the hands, elbows come back, down the back of the body, all the way up to the sky. If there's any back problems, you could just do it with your back extended like this. Down. And we're just blessing our bodies here doing this. The full body, full aura. Good. Feeling that. And then let's stop at the heart now. And the tiger's playing with the ball of chi. Good. And any place in the body that needs a special blessing today, we'll bring this chi there. Good. Maybe it's lower back, maybe it's your knees, wherever that place is. And then let's swoosh it all together, swoosh it through our brains three times around the back of the neck. Not actually touching, it's the yin, yin massage the front of the neck. The heart circling one way, the heart and the lungs circling the other way. Good. And then down to the internal organs, one way, the other way. And then around to lower back, the adrenal glands, spine. Good. And kidneys down to the hips. All the way down the back of the legs and the sides, and then around the feet and the insides of the front of the legs, pausing at the knees, give them a little circle, and then coming on up, and then cross at the heart to the shoulders, elbows, wrists, and then make a little lotus flower, and we'll bring it up to the sky. And we'll let it rain down. Beautiful, beautiful. Good. And we'll step open, bring the right hand across, and then gaze at it. And the left hand's on the bottom. And we'll go over to the other side. We'll switch and across. And this is hands flow like clouds. Our hands are just passing by like palms. Make it a dancing sort of flow, side to side. This is a great one to do if you need balance. If there's just a lot of uh, activity going on and you want to come back to center, just let all those busy thoughts go and realize that they're nothing but clouds passing. Let them flow on by. Coming back to center. Dropping the chi and let's find our aim. So we're going to do the archer. So let's sink down. Bring that left leg up and out. Up, up. Down and get your bow ready. Draw your bow with between the two fingers and let it go. Center. Good. Sinking down. Out. Up. Down. Draw your bow. And then between the two fingers. Beautiful. One more each side. Go. Two fingers. Beautiful. 
go fall and then inhale. Get that chi. Good ankle, good. We'll come back to center. Maybe maybe a little cup with our hands here. Inhale. Centering practice here. Bringing it to the center. Centering our practice. And one hand over the lower dantian, the other hand over it. Feet are together. We are the bamboo swaying in the wind. Just come back to center. No matter what is happening this week, we can always come back to the breath. And that love that surrounds us in which we Live, we move, we have our being. It's who we really are. And inhaling and bringing hands to heart center. We are grateful. I'm grateful for you joining me. Thank you so much. Beautiful.